What I'd like to show next is how to take our hour by hour program and convert it into a single three hour program that has an exact start and exact finish. So what I'm going to do is start with the program we already have, the hour by hour program, and I'm going to duplicate it and make three hours out of it. So for that, we'll take uh, one and make it, um, we'll make it hour one, hour two, and hour three. And we'll remove these times. We'll have it start at uh, 3 p.m. Next hour will be 4 p.m. And the last one will be 5 p.m. So we'll go from 3 to 6. Okay, so we have hour by hour for 3 p.m., 4 p.m., and 5 p.m. I'm not going to change anything else here. For the script, for hour 1, well, let's take a look at what's going on in DJ. I've got to set up a special way here where the program we have going on right now actually ends just a little over 3 p.m. So we want to fade that last track out and move on to the next. So unlike our soft top of the hours, we don't need to fill to the top of the hour that's been done by whatever is programmed before. So we're going to remove that command. For the first command, we can still keep it a time, or if you don't have scheduler advanced, it can be a pick with the station ID. And we will add something to this to make sure that this goes at the exact time. We're going to add an interrupt at zero. Now why zero? Because zero is the, f is the number of minutes and seconds away from the top of the program. Remember, all these times are measured from the top of the program start time. Our program start time is 3 o'clock, so zero, zero is 3 o'clock. So this will be an interrupt. Uh, interrupts will fade down whatever is playing at that moment, no matter how far those tracks are ahead of it. We'll take multiple tracks out and do the interrupt and uh, have this fire at the exact second with a nice fade and actually do a little bit of uh, crossover on it. So that's all we need to do for hour one. Hour two, we don't need to do a thing. It's a middle hour. It's a soft transition hour. And we move to hour three. Now in hour three, we can still do another soft transition top of the hour. But what we want to do here is fill uh, all the way to six o'clock. Now we could take this and set this to 60, minimum 60, maximum 60. And that would take us to uh, at least six o'clock airing on going over a little bit. And whatever comes up next can do its interrupt on that. But I think what I want to do here is actually add uh, a pick and actually have this fill to 60, 60. And that way we have a good chance to put random and unique and all separations and make sure we pick from the right playlist. This way uh, we can actually get uh, within a song's length and have a very good chance of hitting this thing as we we targeted this range to begin with. By the way, I found that uh, that two minute window may not be uh, enough in some cases. Um, I may, might need to go a little bit bigger and make this something more like uh, uh, maybe 5430 uh, to achieve what we want to do. And I could go back and do that in the other ones as well. Okay, and that's our setup right there. I think we can test most of this, so we'll give that a try. Um, so hour one is uh, at 3 p.m. And 
normally the only times you want to hit manually build are to test your scripts or to jumpstart a station in case scheduler and radiologic DJ were not running at the time uh, you want something to program and the next time to schedule uh, has already passed. If you're coming up on it like we are now, I would normally wait to two, you know, just let it do its own thing. At 240 it's going to schedule this and it will be fine. But in order to show you what it's going to do, um, I'm going to go ahead and do it ahead of time and uh, delete it afterwards and it can do its own thing at its own given time. So we'll build 3 p.m. It sees all the tracks in queue, imports from playlist, and schedules everything. Let's go take a look at DJ to see what it did. So here it is. We're ending this program and there's some nice little indicators here to indicate what's happening. This little uh, stripe here means that this track is going to be ended prematurely. It's going to be faded out. And this indicator with the red here indicates that this is an interrupt. Also the INT here indicates that it's an interrupt. If I double click here, these are uh, track actions and there are a few track actions. We can see in the track actions that it has an interrupt at 3 p.m and it's uh, set to change the preference set to default. Well, we haven't done any preference sets yet, so preference set will change to the same thing it is, so that's no different. And it goes ahead and then it IDs, it does what we expect, uh, plays the promo, the music, the promo, the music, gets within a song's length of four o'clock, and let's go back over and do hour two and do the four o'clock and see if it can build itself self up here. Finds lots more tracks in queue this time. Goes ahead and schedules things. And we can go back over here and uh, take a look at what it adds in a moment. It's waiting for this track to finish here. And there it goes. Doesn't like to do heavy work if it's getting close to a transition, if it doesn't need to and this got us to uh, pretty close to a song's length, what pretty, pretty close to what we asked it to do uh, coming up on uh, 5 p.m. and uh, let's take it up to 6 p.m. with the 5 p.m. one here. Keep adding more, lots more tracks in queue. A normal, it wouldn't be set up this way as it's scheduling hour by hour. I want to demonstrate just exactly where it gets to with all these scripts as they come in and run. And it got a little bit past 6 o'clock, which is pretty much exactly what we wanted to do. So, how do we end this off? If we want to go to another program, or even if you have something else happening with your station, you're playing some other uh, audio source, you have a live DJ in doing his own thing, uh, or heaven forbid you are running some other automation software on the PC uh, and you need DJ to go silent, well, whatever the reason, we can set up uh, an end uh, so it ends at the exact 6 o'clock, even though we went over with this song a little bit. What I'm going to do for that is add another program. We're going to say uh, we'll make it uh, jazz. We'll give it a jazzy color and we'll say that we want this to happen at 6 p.m. Um, all days of the week. Oops, I didn't do that right. There, all days of the week. And we can look in the week view. And uh, we'll say that's a three-hour program. We'll set the length of that to be three hours that that's supposed to go on. And uh, we've just blocked out a time uh, for jazz there. Uh, but let's use this uh, first only just to uh, silence DJ. So we'll do a pick. Uh, we'll interrupt at exactly 6 p.m., which will be zeros. Too many zeros, zeros. And we pick a special playlist, which is called Break Silence, which just places a silent track, which uh, executes the track, you know, so we can have a track action actually interrupt with silence. Uh, which will fade things down at about six o'clock or very, almost exactly so you'll actually have some crossover to whatever you're going to if you you time it right and that's all there is to that that does that uh, but there's one other thing I want to show while we're here 
what if you have jazz on jazz on the weekdays but you have uh, classical on the weekends weekends and we'll give this a I don't know there that's a good classical color right all right um, and we would like to in the last hour actually announce what the next program is going to be and yet we still want to uh, reuse hour three daily we can do that we can add a uh, up next command this is scheduler advanced and uh, put that in here before we play our last track pick an up next and here's what up next does it looks in a specific folder for an audio file with the name uh, on weekdays it will look for jazz.aif or classical.aif uh, on the weekends and it will place uh, that track uh, in between these two other tracks so let me go ahead and do that now there is a radiologic folder it's in your home folder so if I'm gonna go in my home folder and my fo file system is rather complicated but don't let that bother you but it would be in your home folder your music folder and the uh, same folder you'd find your iTunes you'll find your radiologic folder and this is going to look more complicated than what you have as well but you're looking for an up next folder and within there you put your programs in here the program name AIF files in there so let me do that really quickly I'm going to actually go into Amadeus Pro here and I'm going to record some up next for us coming up next it's jazz do another one coming up next it's classical okay those are very generic but you get the idea you do what you want with them and I'm putting them in the uh, up next folder in the radiologic folder in the music folder in your home folder in your case and I did classical second I believe we'll check it to make sure put that in there coming up next it's classical and our jazz one okay and that's all you need to do to set that up you have your classical and you have your jazz now these get swapped with this up next thing and this is the actual file that actually gets scheduled and what a scheduler will do is it will swap this out to make sure this is the correct file at the time uh, it's time uh, before it's time for that program to come up so it takes care of it it works out nicely so and there you go that's a, a three hour exact second to exact second program for you